Hey, it's time for more Galaxy. Yeah. Okay, enough of that. So it's been a while, and I actually don't remember what I've been doing. And I have not prepared at all, because... Poor planning. So, let's see what I have to do. I think I was over yonder. Okay, I'll just see what needs doing there. And we should start it. So, as I've mentioned countless times in channel comments and my channel sidebar and various videos that I've put out over the past couple of weeks, I've just been kind of lazy with recording. I wanted to take a break from it. And now I am back and things should be semi-normal again. I guess we'll start with this Daredevil comment. Uh... Sonic Unleashed has been dropped. I know it wasn't a huge favorite, so hopefully not too many people will be upset by this. I know a few people liked it. Uh, we have replaced it, though, with the Pokemon Emerald run that I've promised for a while. And it might be a more overdone game, but I think it'll be a lot more interesting to watch. And that is on Brenna's channel, so and I have it on a playlist on my channel, so like, if you're not subscribed to her, now you know about it. I'd like people to watch it. So, let's just try this after weeks of not playing the game. I'm sure it'll go swimmingly. Okay, I guess you have to wait for me to get out. Again, I can never, never remember how to actually do this boss. Shouldn't be that hard, though. And then I immediately die. Opposite. Uh... And it's a Daredevil run, so there's no coins, so that is good news for me. I don't think Daredevil runs can ever give coins, so it would be kind of counterproductive if they did. Uh, where are we coming from? Over there. Ah, no, no, don't be catching up now. Stop that at once. Yeah, this boss is slightly stupid. Okay. Great death cry, like always. This is somewhat unrelated, but... Uh, all the kids... Oh my god, I said the kids. It must be... I'm oh, sorry, that's an overdone joke. Yeah, they all got, like... New systems for their late Christmas this weekend. Yay for late Christmases in the end of March. But, uh... Yeah, Jenna and Jeremy both got a DS, and so, uh, I got Jenna Kirby Superstar Ultra, and Jeremy got, uh, Mario 64 DS, which I am interested in trying also, because I've never actually played that game. I played a bit of it, it seems different, I don't really know what else to say about it. So, I guess we're going to freeze one. I've only played as Yoshi and Mario so far, so I don't... I've heard that Luigi has this incredibly broken backflip. I have yet to see that. Maybe I'll see it next weekend. I don't know. It's not like I have much to say about it anyway. I am Burr from the planet. No, I'm not going to do that. Even though I did. Oh, and here's, this, here's the penguin that I always make fun of. I don't know if I've made fun of it yet in this LP. Just this line right here. Wait. Yeah, how could one penguin move so fast? Because if you were more than one, you would be faster, right? I, I just, I don't get that at all. That lava-filled goo ball over there is pretty cool looking. I will stare at it. Okay, the camera won't let me stare at it. Never mind. I always kind of liked this level. A common gripe that I've had with the Galaxy series, um, well, not series, but the two games, is that between the two games, I think there's like three or possibly four lava and ice mixed levels. It's like, it was, a, it was an okay idea in Banjo-Tooie. It was the trope-namer. 
and uh, even then I didn't like Hailfire Peaks that much. It definitely wasn't my favorite level. And here I like this one, but there's it's like if you have a cool idea, just don't overuse it. I guess that's what I'm saying. And I don't know where I'm going, so I'm just gonna head over this way and see what manner of stylish jig I can perform. Turns out I'm already out of things to talk about, because I've already recorded Sly Cooper and Pokemon Emerald at this point. There was much ranting about Jonah, so if you were a fan of the complaint about Jonah's antics from uh, Demo World back when we did that, uh, that'll be interesting, because it was pretty much like 11 minutes straight of complaining about Jonah. I think I must also apologize for newcomers who don't know who these people are. Don't worry, someone will explain it, but it's not going to be me. So, how do I get up here? Uh, it might require timing. Like, do it after the ice flower runs out so I can spin. And of course I screw it up. Okay. Hey. Not cool. Wait, how do I even fight this thing? Wow, I do not remember this boss in the slightest. Don't I need, like, a fire flower or something? Or am I supposed to hit the ice balls back? This is kind of sad. Like, how do I not remember this boss at all? Um... Why am I not hitting these? I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. So confused. I'm sorry, everyone. Have I mentioned lately that I'm not good at this game? That was kind of a delayed death there. What the crap was that? Okay, well, at least it starts me out up here again. What do you... What do you do? Like, I thought you just use a spin attack on it, but that didn't do anything. Hey, hey, hey. Get out of the water. Thank you. Guess I'll go from the other side. I don't know. Those coins are in my way. I can't go up the normal way. Lord, I suck at this. And great success. Um, how far back did that send me? Might have to do some off screening. I'll see where I am. Uh, no, this looks easy enough to get to. Assuming, of course, I actually, like, jump in the correct direction. Oh. Heh. <sighs> Not a, not a wonderful return to this game. Like, there's only so many times I can say I'm bad at this before nobody wants to hear it anymore. And then I die from common enemies. Like, usually bosses are just a slightly more advanced version of the common enemy that they're based off of, so I thought a spin attack would work. Maybe I just did it wrong. Uh, stop backflipping the wrong way. Okay, that for that giant setback. Um. Nope, I'm dead. Okay, so... <laughs> that was an awesome face, though. Third time's the charm? Maybe? I think part of the reason I can't remember this boss is because it was, like, really bland and easy. So, I don't get it. I think my gaming skills are just getting worse. Because I was, like, playing that 
Mickey Mouse game for Super Nintendo that we bought, and God, I was bad at it. Okay, let's let the other one out. Uh, can we, like, hit something while jumpable? Okay, now, what the crap do I do? Falling off doesn't qualify. I can't imagine that they would want me to use the Ice Flower against an Ice Boss, that's kind of dumb. Like, and it doesn't even shoot anything, so... Uh... There we go. What the heck. That took 11 minutes to figure out. Like, isn't that what I've been doing? Whatever. Now that I've gotten my stupidity out of the way, maybe I will improve later. And grab that coin, of course. Oh, okay, it's a good distance away. God, your hands are huge. Oh my god, Carl, your hands. Yeah, I know, I see them. They're very big. Well, it's been fun, but I think I'm gonna go take a nap now, and then I'm gonna go call some hospitals. Gotta love that line. That and the I will pee all over my pants line are probably like my favorite things from that show. Yay, the storybook. Miss the yes button at least 63 times. Alright, what's next? Ooh, a cosmic comet. That sounds fun. Ooh, they, someone told me if you like press A at the beginning of the race, you get a boost. I think it's A, maybe it's Z plus A. I guess I'll try it. I probably won't need it anyway. I don't remember this one being that bad. But then again, I didn't remember the one from Honey Hive being bad either. We all know how that one ended up. Uh, boost here might be bad. It might, like, dump me into the abyss. I'll, I think I'll pass. I'll just do it without the boost. Yeah, I kind of like the skating controls. They're a bit, like, floofy. They're floofy. I don't know. They're just kind of f nice and fluid. I don't know. They're hard to control, but... Other people probably hate them, so I am just stating the fact that I don't hate them. Especially since I seem to hate everything about this game anyway, so... I try to not be negative for once. Oh my god, that was terrible. No, okay. There is a hand-drawn map of the NES Zelda game on the wall that I drew with Burnout when we were playing through that game, because we got the NES to work. Well, we bought a new NES, but... We kind of wanted to have, like, a... Um, old-school experience with it, with, like, no online maps or anything. Of course, I remembered where half the secrets were anyway, but it was kind of fun just making the map as we went.